Hi students, today we are going to discuss the topic Apparent weight of a man in a lift or elevator Okay, how do you find your weight? In our everyday experience We will find our weight by standing on a weighing machine Okay, what happens when you stand on a weighing machine or the pan, weighing pan You exert your total weight that is equal to the gravitational force on the weighing machine okay so the weight is called action force as a reaction the weighing machine will exert a normal force in the upward direction so that normal force of reaction this reaction force only is equal to your weight both are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction this is on the level ground surface we find our weight now what will happen if you keep a weighing machine inside a lift or elevator and you stand over that so under various cases when the lift is at rest or moving uniformly or accelerating upward or downward what will be the reaction offered by the weighing machine the reaction offered by the weighing machine only is called your apparent weight your apparent weight sometimes the apparent weight may be equal to your true weight sometimes it may be greater than your true weight or even less than your true weight so under various conditions we want to find the apparent weight of a man inside a lift okay now case 1 when the lift is at rest you can see it, this is the lift compartment inside which a man is standing over a weighing machine so this is platform on the platform of the lift a weighing machine is kept and the man is standing over it okay what is the case we have taken first one is lift is at rest when the lift is at rest its acceleration is zero so a equal to zero okay now from the free body diagram, from the free body diagram, we will write uh, the net force acting on the system on the left side of the equation and mass into acceleration on the right side. So applying Newton's uh, second law of motion for the free body diagram here, what are all the various forces acting on the system? Can you see that the weight of the person mg is acting in the downward direction? and the normal force of reaction m is acting in the upward direction so this m is acting in the upward direction along the positive y axis so m into j cap mg is acting in the vertically downward direction is it not so minus j cap is a unit vector along mg so i will write minus mg into j cap is equal to mass into acceleration mass into acceleration is what zero is it not acceleration is zero so now m into j cap is equal to mg into j cap now equating the components m is equal to mg so this is the case what i told you in the beginning the normal reaction okay m is a measure of the apparent weight of the man therefore here apparent weight okay apparent weight of the man is equal to his real weight so when the lift is at rest we have shown that the apparent weight of the person and the real weight of the person both are equal now we come to the second case lift moves with uniform velocity either upward or downward with a constant velocity in the same direction so it is called as uniform velocity magnitude as well as the direction both are constant so in this case also since the velocity is uniform or constant the acceleration is zero is it not acceleration is zero so the case will be the same as before same as before so here also what uh, m is equal to mg in the same 
in the same lines if you derive means we can prove that n is equal to mg here also so here also what uh, the apparent uh, weight of the person is uh, equal to his uh, real weight this is the second case now what is the case number three is different lift accelerates uh, upwards so the speed or velocity continuously increases in the upward direction so can you see here a the acceleration of the lift is uh, upwards it is up upwards is it not that so now here the net force i am going to write so m into j cap mg is acting downward so minus mg into j cap is equal to m into a so a is along the direction of m that is in the positive y axis positive y axis so its unit vector is again j cap so this is j cap okay so m into j cap is equal to mg minus mg goes to the right side as mg into j cap plus ma into j cap so equating the components on both sides m is equal to mg plus ma or m is equal to m into g plus a so mg is the actual weight of the person and in addition to that m into a is added means naturally the apparent weight must be greater than the actual weight is it not that therefore here apparent weight is greater okay apparent weight is greater than the real weight so this is the case number 3 when the lift accelerates upwards the apparent weight is found to be greater than the real weight so sometimes when you travel in the lift we feel ourselves heavier and heavier that means the lift the lift is accelerating upwards now what is the case number four is when the lift accelerates in the downward direction that is it is accelerating downwards continuously the velocity increases so here is uh, the case uh, m into j cap minus m g into j cap is equal to m into a but a is in which direction you see downward direction is not so if the unit vector along the direction of acceleration in the downward direction is minus j cap so here i will write minus j cap so m into j cap is equal to this minus mg comes to the right as mg into j cap minus ma into j cap so equating the components n is now equal to mg minus ma or n is equal to m into g minus a so can you see on the right side the terms are mg minus something should be less than mg is it not less than mg means what less than the real weight or less than the actual weight therefore here i can write apparent apparent weight is less than the real weight or actual weight you can use sir, either real weight or actual weight both are one and the same now case 5 is a special case it should not happen anywhere understand it's an imagination only so the lift falls freely what do you mean by freely falling body just like a stone is dropped freely okay so that its acceleration is equal to what 9.8 meter per second square that is equal to what g itself so when the lift falls freely the acceleration of the lift is equal to acceleration due to gravity g itself so in this case the normal reaction is equal to what m into g minus a that is equal to m into g minus g that is equal to zero there is no reaction there is no reaction from the platform of the weighing machine inside the lift this is called as what weightlessness weightlessness so this condition only is called weightlessness so this weightlessness will be experienced by the astronauts in spacecraft understood so there is no 
reaction from the platform of the lift or from the platform of the weighing machine. So, once again, I will recall what do you mean by apparent weight here? Apparent here, the apparent weight is equal to the normal reaction given by the platform of the weighing machine. So, here you can see a man standing on the weighing machine and the lift is at rest. Acceleration of the lift is zero. Hence, the apparent weight is equal to the real weight. Okay. Second, when the lift moves with uniform velocity, since the velocity is uniform, it does not change. When the velocity does not change, there is no acceleration. Therefore, the first and second cases are almost one and the same. Okay. So, the apparent weight is equal to the real weight. In the third case, lift is accelerating upwards. And here we find that apparent weight is greater than the real weight. And case 4 is uh, lift is accelerating downwards. So here we have shown that the apparent weight is less than the real weight. And case 5 is what the lift falls freely. So when any freely falling body you take, the acceleration is equal to G itself. So G is uh, uh, equal to A or G minus A is equal to 0. Therefore the reaction is equal to 0. So it is called as weightlessness. I hope you must have understood well. Fine.